put that up there. Welcome, Ryan Reynolds, Sahal H. Please stand there and let 7,000 people scream their love at you. up there to see you as Deadpool again, but in this <laughs> one year ago to almost today, some asshole in here leaked that footage, and that's why we're standing here. I mean, Tim Miller and I, the director, we just sat, sat back there and, and just shook our heads in kind of awe, just thinking, how did we get here? Is that that moment, you guys, the internet fans, you guys made the studio do this, you bent their arms behind their backs, twisted <laughs> First of all, let's bring Tim Miller out, yes. uh, director Tim Miller, out here. Yeah. And also, uh, as Vanessa, Miranda Baccarin! As, uh, as Weasel, as Weasel, my good friend Mr. T.J. Miller is also here. Like this is something that, that we're going to do now is the time we can do this. We have the time and resources. Uh, Fox said you can make it if you want, and I said okay. I mean that's pretty much it. I would have made the fucking movie anytime, but it, would, it had to, it had to come at the right time, and the studio was ready to make it now. And I think it's because, as Ryan said, it's the fans. You know, he's he's the he's the perfect character for our time. Yes, and why, Ryan, why do you think people are so in love with Deadpool? I think, I think this character inhabits a, a space in the comic universe that no other person can or will ever inhabit. I mean, you know, it's got everything you'd ever want. Uh, you know, for one, I just think it's, a, it's an absolute miracle that a studio let us make Deadpool, let alone a rated R Deadpool. <laughs> It this way. There's no that's way. That's us talking. That's not the people that, that cut the big fat check. Did you have to convince them of that, or did, did you, or did they just say, "Hey, man, do do whatever you want to do with this"? Uh, eventually, they said that, but at the beginning, I mean, it is. <laughs> but they didn't say that at first. It was R, then it was PG, then it was R again. But yeah. But ultimately, you know, they, I think they see that the world is ready for something different. No matter what the rating is, though, babies will love this. <laughs> Movie of the year. <laughs> <laughs> do you feel like this is the kid? Like, it is, do you feel like Deadpool is, is your soul? Like, do you feel when, when you when you put on the, the suit, you're like, yeah, I'm, I'm this guy. This is oh no, that's that, when you put that suit on. There's just the, the whole energy and atmosphere on the set changes. I mean, I've, I've uh, not to mention the smell. Yeah, the smell <laughs> changes. <laughs> smell. Like, that thing takes a beating. I mean, it was just it's and it's sort of meant to be slightly disgusting, which is also a nice thing. It's all sewn up shoddily by Deadpool himself, but. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it, it's a definitely a game changer, you know. I mean, I've only ever done one other like proper full, uh, sorry, not proper superhero movie, but. Uh, <laughs> oh! Oh, damn. Oh, sorry. Since then, you know, it was uh, it was the 
computer-generated suit, so I, I never really got to experience what that was like to walk onto a, onto a set fully embodied. And you didn't get to talk that much. No, yeah, this time I don't shut up. Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, Miranda, can you talk a little bit about Vanessa and just anything? Anything. I'll anything you anything. want. Like, who, sure, yeah. who is she? What? You know, anything. She's. I mean, she's badass. It was really awesome to read the script, Ooh. especially as a woman. You don't, you don't get to read many superhero movies that have a badass romantic lead in it. Um, and she, you know, she gives him lip right back, and not necessarily the talking kind. Oh. Um, yeah. She's just really awesome. She's a, a really, you know, a perfect match to his. Crassness. <laughs> uh, TJ. Yes, Chris. Hey, TJ Miller. <laughs> this is my first time coming. Thank you guys for having me. It's very yeah. crazy. Yeah. Uh, I mean, for crap's sake, you would think HBO would bring Silicon Valley to Comic Con. They said we're promoting an R-rated film, the first real R-rated superhero film. On the back of these, it says, please be aware that many members of your audience may be under 18 years of age. Yeah, and to those of you, I say, you're going to fucking love this movie. <laughs> <laughs> I think we, I think we blew past that barrier when we showed the first part of this. I think we're, everyone's totally descent. You kids have the internet now. You're desensitized to this shit. Come on. Most of you have seen horses fuck before you kiss your first girl. All right. Oh. <laughs> let's, let's go there. You know why, TJ? Because it's unbridled passion. <laughs> people after a while. Oh, Chris, I hate your sea biscuit. Oh, Jesus. Keep me up, Teach. And I play Weasel. Go ahead. I think you gave us a sense of who Weasel was without so, yeah. him. Uh, Brianna, what can, you, what can you tell us about, about your character? Um, so I play a Negasonic Teenage Warhead. And she is <laughs> she is a 15 year old like superhero in training. She's Colossus's trainee, um, and yeah, she's pretty gothic, apathetic. Um, and she's a very strong young superhero who's a female, and I love her. Excellent. And what was the experience like for you coming into the cast, and where did you where did you see yourself fitting in? I mean, was it was was the shoot grueling? Was it fun? Was it it was so fun. Um, it was all fun. And it was such a dream come true because I may or may not have had a huge crush on Ryan Reynolds growing up. So. Whoa. <laughs> and this was my first like film, really, so I had no idea what to expect, but it was so fun. And like the energy among everyone was great and we all got along great and yeah, it was awesome. I mean, yeah, you know, when when the, the lead character is like that that actor really sets the tone of the set. And so when it's someone like you and it's someone who's nice and fun, you have TJ on there too. I mean, it just, it sounds... Oh, yeah. It's so easy to be relaxed. Yeah. yeah. So. Sounds like we're going into overtime. She actually, <laughs> she actually showed me this photo of her Photoshop. That photo of Ryan where he's like super 12-pack like, muscles. And, and she photoshopped herself into the photo next to Ryan when she was in high school. She really did have a photo. <laughs> <laughs> did you show him that? Uh, yeah, wow. I did. I printed it out. What do you, how do you, what do you say to that? Uh, I, I guess I was I was her Joey Lawrence. <laughs> I uh, photoshopped Whoa. myself into every Joey Lawrence photo I could. <laughs> I feel you. I feel your pain. Well, we have a special guest. Joey Lawrence is here. That would be amazing. Oh, that was actually no, sorry. I was just I was so stupid. Chris, uh, I didn't mean to toy with your heart. TJ, stay with us. <laughs> TJ later will go to an equestrian center. <laughs> <laughs> We're only gonna stir up some controversy with these horses. I'm gonna stir it up. You said the horse thing. Uh, stir up. <laughs> stir up. Well done. <laughs> you settled me with another bit. Uh, thank you. Okay. Hey. <laughs> 
Alright. Uh, no, that was, oh, you're right. No points for that one. Chopping the bit for the rest of the And what can you tell us about AJ? Um, Ajax runs the workshop that um, Wade Wilson comes into as a uh, terminally ill ex-Special Forces soldier and we, uh, we give him the superpowers that turn him into Deadpool and um, he's very disrespectful and ungrateful. Does <laughs> 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 right. it seem right? It seems very, it seems very threatening. Oh, that's, that's, like, that's, that's about right. Do, do, do you feel you owe them something? Do you feel like you should owe them anything? Oh, to the superpower? Sure. No, you should you should see what they turn me into, though. That's uh, I think it's a fair trade. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk. Uh, I want to talk to Gina about Angel Dust. What can you tell us about Angel Dust? Uh, I, I basically feel like we're creators. With a, I mean, personally, I have a, uh, Angel Dust has a lot of anger issues. Um, so we help create this type of and it's. It's been kind of like a revolution. Um, I can I mean, I'm looking out here, and it's just such a, a massive event, and um, it's such a pleasure to be a part of it with this cast and the crew and Tim Miller. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to be a part of it, um, and thank you for allowing me the outlet to have my anger issues resolved. Yeah. <laughs> now, when you obviously there's there's just an irre there's a reverent tone that is necessary. To, to bring this on the screen, you obviously chose the right cast. How much? It, how much was there riffing on the set and screwing around, or, or how much? I mean, do you allow that to go on? Oh fuck yeah! I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> you, first of all, I, I can't stop it. Um, Brian does it nonstop, and TJ is completely uncontrollable. Professional, really. Like even, even when I would get angry at him and tell him to quit fucking around, he would still. Still do it, but everybody was great. I mean, we had a we had a great set for a first time director. It's got to be one of the the best experiences I could hope for because we had no drama, no difficulty. The studio was behind us for all the decisions. They they didn't question anything that we did, uh, even though they probably should have. Um, I think Tim was the biggest drama on set, right? Yeah, I'm a bit of a prima donna. Yeah, yeah. Very Stuff that comes out of your mouth. Yeah. yeah. Ryan had to hug me at least twice a day. Oh, he's such a crybaby. God. <laughs> he's a, such a pervert, too. Everything that... He, he, this guy cries if he sees unadulterated rage. <laughs> like, it's like it, like, gets him. It's true. Ryan did this scene where he, he comes in at a pivotal part of the movie that I won't tell you about, and he's just so fucking angry. And Ryan, he does this, this thing. He's like, dude, I got, like, two fucking takes in me for this because I'm... Ugh! But it was brilliant, and so I choked up a little bit. I, it, I found him weeping in the corner. It was corner. so good. <laughs> like, like, one of the funny, dramatic stuff does it, just the pure rage. Now, you should direct the next Hulk. Yeah. <laughs> like, crying like a baby the whole time. <laughs> I, I cried for the emotional stuff. I direct an and episode then, of Nancy Grace. And then he got really jealous. <laughs> <laughs> And then Ryan gets really jealous because of the third act. Miranda did this amazing scene, and I and I teared up again. And then he did his side of it, and I was like, "Yeah, that was all right." Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, Where's mine? No. Were there were there play, were there were there things that you felt like, oh well, maybe this is one step too far. Maybe this is one step too. Only every day. Uh -oh. Yeah. oh yeah. Every scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every scene. yeah, there's stuff that I like would get home. I would be lying awake in bed, and I would text Tim just to say, "Hey." That thing I said, that extra joke at the end of that scene when I'm walking out of the cab, could you make sure that's never seen by anyone? Because <laughs> <laughs> there's a number of organizations that will find me. <laughs> there, there, was a, there was a rewrite, a T.J. Miller guy involved in one of the scenes, Whoa. and he wrote some of the meanest jokes. That I, I, that's where I really said, you know what, we can't, we can't do this. Because this is funny shit, but it's fucking mean. It's just mean. <laughs> 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 no, not mean. No, 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 You're laughing and crying, and then you go home and you literally cry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's true, I saw it. I saw it. Uh, Brian's very strong. I don't know if you know, ladies, but he has a very muscular body. Muscular. He's a very strong man. Okay, and he was really sweet because when Tim would cry, he'd hold him like a little cherubic baby. <laughs> <laughs> he'd rock him back and forth until Tim... <laughs> We'd all turn on the suit and fuck around. <laughs> so, what can you what can you say about this 
version of Deadpool without, obviously without giving away too much. But what can you say to people? What can they expect? I mean, I know we got a glimpse of it in, uh, before, yeah. what you're saying, but what? Well, it's everything, you know, that we loved about the comics. I mean, it's, we have a guy that obviously is going to break the fourth wall. Uh, yeah. you know, this is just my opinion, but I think the most faithful uh, adaptation of a, of a super suit from a comic to a movie I've ever seen. That's Rush Sinkle, I'm gonna shout him out. Uh, we, have, we actually have the Merc with the mouth. The mouth is not, at any point in our film, sewn shut. <laughs> That is a problem. That was the only thing. I wasn't even paid. They just put, they just promised me that uh, on this movie. But um, and yeah, you have your you have your merc with the mouth. You have the guy that is uh, uh, doing his best to annoy the living shit out of everyone around him. <laughs> and you know what? Uh, Red Reese and Paul Wernick, the writers too. Where are they? Somewhere here. Somewhere. They uh, they deserve a lot of credit because this script, bar none, is the best script I've ever read. <clears throat> I get choked up. It's so uh, no! <laughs> what a <time>. <laughs> <laughs> the, script, the script is great, and they and they were tireless about with me trying to get this movie made with Ryan. We never let up with the studio, um, just constantly annoying them with emails to, to please make this movie. And Rhett and Paul were there the, beside me the whole time, saying, "This is the best script we've ever written, and it yeah. needs to be done." So. Tim, you know, I gotta say, I, you know, I don't, we've never met before this moment, I didn't know this, but I just, I see this crusty exterior and a chewy center inside, and I really, I really enjoy about you. Hospital age director working. No, but you have to know, you have to know that it's just, it's, it's important for these people to know that this is that important to you, you know? Oh, like, yeah. this is a very, this is a very special and important character to people, and so, if you came out and you're like, yeah, we made this Hot Shot Super movie, people would be like, fuck that guy, but you, you know, like, you're sensitive and you love it and it means something to you, and we actually have some footage to show you. And uh, let's show some never before seen footage from the Deadpool movie. Thank <laughs> you. 